Hey, Corey Creative Habitats Landscaping, witnessing a landscape apostasy. Oh my goodness, this is horrible. Absolutely horrible. There's grass growing here, okay? All right, maybe it's not perfect grass, but there's grass. When we get into the shade of these trees, there is moss. There is only moss growing. There's no grass growing. It's horrible. We are going to have to cut down every single one of these trees, grind the stump, and plant grass. Why? Because landscapers plant grass. That's crazy. Look at this, people. This is a gorgeous yard. Needs a little bit of attention. See this tree, this tree, this tree? I bet that one and that one took at least 50 years to grow. Why in the world would we take something like that? This is a gorgeous yard. It just needs some help. What we're gonna do here, the line dividing the bed and the turf is one of the most visible things that adds to the aesthetic appeal of a yard. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a line and nature sort of dictates this based on where the grass is growing. Okay, we'll cut that line. There will be a crisp division between nature and turf, okay? When these leaves fall, I'm gonna recommend that they maybe mulch them in here but instead of having to pick them up, put them over here in the dump, then the city comes in with a big truck and carries them off to the dump and they do whatever. We're going to leave them where nature wanted them, underneath the trees, doing some good for these trees and everything else that might be feeding off of it. Um, so at any rate, looking forward to turning what nature has given us into a better piece of art. Um, don't let landscaper guys with no imagination go cut down your trees and let's plant grass because this is such a gorgeous kind of atmosphere in fact right behind me this is one of my favorite landscapes in auburn now i know you look at it and go gosh that's a mess but if if this had been just maintained there's an a older gentleman here who i don't think he does a whole lot obviously he doesn't do a whole lot but this is one of the most gorgeous maintenance free yards you'd ever find Hard to convince you that because it's pretty messy, but a little bit of, of thinning through here and this place would be amazing. I'm gonna highlight one more thing. I don't know if you can hear it in this video, but I hear birds chirping all over the place. Go to a new neighborhood where they practice good bulldozer development. Hey, let's just flatten it all, flatten it all. What are you gonna hear in the morning or in the evening? Nothing. In this neighborhood, I hear birds all around me. There's absolutely no reason that lands that developers cannot respect trees like this and work around them instead of taking out valuable assets like that i don't understand it um all it takes is a little bit of a different way of thinking um so anyhow there's some thoughts about wiser landscape practices